Steven Cordenio right here with the one and only Coach Calvin. Good to see you, you sir, doing, as man, always. Man. It's incredible. It's incredible. Tell me, when Tank was this big, did you ever imagine his face would be all over the walls in Las Vegas? This room really hit me by here. Never thought in a million years, but Kenny used to always say, yo, Young is special, man. He's special and you guiding him right, you know, so... He used to always say, Coach Calvin, Coach Calvin. Right now I'm hearing that voice in my head. Whew. Incredible. Mm. Incredible. That was actually going to be my first question to you was, talk about not only the significance of Tank being here at this moment, but what it means for the kids still coming in the gym. The kids that you see look like Tank, talk like Tank, have the same story as Tank and... and what it does for those kids to see him I'm where he's I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, when me and Kenny not at home working and we go into the national with kids and I, I sit back and watch them say, Tank is my best fight in the world, it gives them hope because they was losing hope, you know, with the situation with the Olympic. The Olympic gave the amateurs a chance to strive for something. They're trying to phase that out. But when they look at me and Tank and Kenny, they see us sticking together as a team you know, from day one. And I think that's the message, especially in boxing, you get me saying? If you look at Floyd, he's stuck with his team, you know? So again, my message to them is stay with your day one. Stay with your day one, through the thick end of thing. The loyalty between you two is, you is beautiful. Tanks. You hear Tank said, he's there going what? Loyalty. Mm -hmm. And you, 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 you can't be taught that. Mm -hmm. That had to come with inside. Mm -hmm. And it is what it is. I mean, it was it was beautiful seeing. I saw an interview. I think it was complex, mm -hmm. and he was talking about how the gym. It wasn't really boxing necessarily. It was the gym gave him the love that he wasn't yeah. getting at home, and obviously that's you know yeah. the, your, your direct influence of well, that. Because um, situations in the streets, that's what they use as a tactic to draw the kids in. Because sometimes they're not getting these things at home, and that's why I am saying to city members people that's out there man grab a hold of these youth they got something special in them they looking for some help and only person can help them is us they the future of us floor said at the tank when they asked him is he the future of boxing what floor say absolutely <laughs> hey, hey look where we at he said it yeah so i i i you can't write this shit Incredible, man. Like this. this is incredible. Man, I, I, you know, I'm sure it's a small part, but I'm sure Tank sticks around for the, the cinnamon rolls as well, the homemade cinnamon rolls. I saw that, yeah, man. He was on that. He was on that. <laughs> well, you know, I had to show that I still had the skills, you know, um, when I went in. You know what I'm saying? And that skill I learned when I went in, you know, and actually my, my main goal is I don't want a kid have to go that way to actually find himself, you know, so... It is what it is. You know, I thank my Lord to let me get where I'm at today. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful to see, man. Real, real hero of, of the city and, and, and those people. I'm sure you know that, but, you know, you. it doesn't hurt to say it again. Uh, man, let's talk about this, this bet. What, what was your kind of, you know, initial reaction? What was your first words to well, Tank after you heard it? When I met the young man who was doing an interview with Tank, I was like, who's this kid? Real exciting man. I mean, I like him as my hype man, to tell you the truth. Right. And... They was trying to get Ron on. He kept saying, Ron is in there. He's in the chat. He's in the chat. Oh, he just don't want to come in. And um, Ron Buddy got on, on there, and he told him to get on. And they got on, and they was talking. And uh, we always, like when you we, when you hear the Shakur, the Devin talk about Tank, and I said, they said, yeah, ain't nobody never put all their purses up. Everybody chasing that money. If you really chasing that money, put the money up. And so Tank, he does what we ask, you know, think about. And he said, they said, nobody never did that. And how calm he was, that's the part that got me. He said, man, you sure you want to do that? And, and Ron was trying to get, a, he was trying to wiggle out of it. And I'm listening to him. He said, that's it. He said, Ron said, everything is on the line. He said, no, nah, everything ain't on the line. <laughs> everything ain't on the line. That's all you got to do is put your purse up. You know what I'm saying? The company's still going to get theirs. We're talking about your purse. And when Tank said that, I know he was real about that. He, he don't care. We, it's about... It's a, it's a show that I did with the amateur. Put up or shut up. <laughs> What's the latest with that? Can you tell me? There, is it knocked out? I, I want to say Ryan said he signed. I don't, is that they talked about it? So you know, I'm just when Tank said they said yo he signed it. You know what it is? That's the same way with the contract with this fight. So it makes the fight different now.
you know, and I know my guy when it comes to money. I said it plenty of times. He don't care about no belts. He care about money. <laughs> Wait, I, I have a lot of people telling me they see this fight. You know, they, the people who tell me they favor Tank tell me that they favor Tank by KO. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you guys aren't going for a KO, but, you know, it's... it's KOs. You know, Coach Kenny, that's, that's his thing. Me, I train for punishment in 12 rounds. Yeah. Explain that. So Kenny, Kenny works on Kenny, KO setup, or I don't talk about KOs because me personally, I don't. Every fight that he knocks somebody out, they always want a rematch. But when he beat him up, you know what I'm saying? They said, "Man, leave that dude alone." And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that type of punishment that Ron would come out of his mouth and say, "Yo, that dude is a beast." That's my satisfaction. And when that day happened, then I would give him his props. I know. Uh, I want to go back to one of the last times we spoke. You said the one that you want back is uh, is Esau Cruz. Yeah, yeah, that, that's still the case. Star, man, to be to be real, we made him a star. You know, good guy, good guy. And it, it's good for boxing. It's good for boxing. You know what I'm saying? I think he did a great job, but it's something that I know that he don't know. You know, so that's why I always talk about that fight. I know Tank's hand was hurt as well. Is that part of what you're saying? Is that we didn't get to see kind of a complete Tank in, in that fight? That too. But if you watch the fight, it showed the world that he can box. Because everybody just said, oh, he depends on his power. He depends on his power. How do you think he got them 200 and something amateur fights? He didn't knock everybody out when he was an amateur. It says a lot. You know what I'm saying? So I just listen to the critics. Yeah, I like that. Keep doing what y'all doing. You're making, you making them better. The, the rumor is Isak's coming back on the undercard of, again, the other rumor is Spence versus uh, Crawford undercard. Supposedly he's going to be on that. Yeah, we wanted him on this one. Oh, you yeah? Know? Yeah, yeah. What we wanted him on I don't take care of the business side, you know, but I would have loved him here, so I already got to see him and whatnot because I wanted to tell him personally, you know we made your star. <laughs> You know. is, it, is part of seeing him too kind of feeling his energy because I see Tank is very cerebral like that he kind of like sees the little things that Ryan does the uh, uh, cadences yeah, in his but, voice but but again it's things that I know that didn't happen and I look at that fight and I go back and study that fight that Tank could have did a lot in that fight you know what I'm saying and it's, 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 it's a moment when you got a great champion go back to a fight that everybody questions or have some type of what you call it. And you know, they, they, they look at him. When I look at Tank box his ass off that night, he gave me a good strong, but Cruz was right there. Cruz, and that's his style, you know what I'm saying? But if he had both hands, you know what I'm saying? So that's all. We'll see what will happen. I, I, I'd love to see the rematch. I'm sure a lot of people it's would. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen because it makes sense. Right, it definitely does. It like makes you sense. said, Isak's a star now, for He's sure. A star. He's a star. Uh, I want to talk about Ryan's, or I'm sorry, uh, Tank's first KO. I heard him talking about it, was, or not first KO, but uh, the first time he realized he really had power, he said it was against like a Russian guy. It was. And that, to, to, well, what do you remember about that? Well, um, his strength trainer was training him. And um, we, our budget wasn't that big. We was, you know, young and, and I told him, I said, Russ, you ain't going to be able to travel with me, but, you know, work with me. And um, Tank said, made this, he said, back to my old ways and caught him with a shot and flatline him. And he looked at his hands and looked at me and I looked at Russ and I said, yo, you hard. <laughs> and we just been together since then. That's incredible. Yes. Coach Calamad, I love catching up with you, man. I love kind of getting deep into the, the history of you guys because it's beautiful to see your guys' relationship, yes, man, and, and, and it, it shows. I don't know what my son told him. That's how we got where we was at. It's beautiful, man. And you're, you're there for the whole way. Thank you, Thank you so much, Coach. Appreciate you as always. Thank you.